Let me start with, uh, with Edward Snowden. This is the worst hemorrhaging of legitimate American secrets in the history of the American Republic. Okay. Period. Now, we can have another discussion about whether there are some byproducts that are good or bad or what, whatever, but in terms of hemorrhaging of secrets, nothing like this. More than Robert Hansen, he's the FBI agent who worked for the Russians. More than Aldrich Ames, he's the CIA officer who worked for the Russians. And in both of those cases, people got dead. I mean, American sources were killed inside, inside the Soviet Union, in the case of Ames, inside Russia, in the, in the case of Hansen. I understand the severity of that. But those were leaks. You know, it, it's interesting, you know, our language kind of betrays us. Leaks, you know, drip, 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 water. Yeah. And you measure leaks by, was that a glass? Was that a bucket? Was that a barrel? And you can argue about Ames and, 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 and Hansen and, and, and other traders that we've had. Snowden's different. Snowden's not dripping water. Well, he is. But in addition to that, he's revealing the plumbing. He is actually articulating how it is the American and British services go about their business. And in that case, the, the harm is, is, is actually quite, quite substantial. I'm out of government. I don't, I don't see anything secret, or rarely see anything secret. I get called in occasionally for discussions, very rarely about this. Um, but I look at the current director of national intelligence, look at your head of MI5, look at your head of GCHQ, Ian Loban, uh, look at our CIA director, our NSA director, look at the chairs of our two congressional oversight committees, and all of them make it quite clear that this has been a, a legitimate intelligence targets are changing their practices when it comes to how they communicate. There, there's other damage, too. Um, there's damage inside the United States to the, to the good name of the people who do this kind of work. The NSA director, right before our Thanksgiving, sent a letter home to, to every member of the workforce's family, in essence saying, your husband, your wife, your mom, your dad, brother, sister, whatever, they are not criminals. They are loyal Americans serving legitimate foreign intelligence purposes. Now, I know we're going to discuss where those lines are and what constitutes legitimacy and not legitimacy, but look, as members of Western democracies, you've, you've, you've got to try to digest the reality, what it means when the head of America's largest intelligence service, about 35,000 people, feels compelled to send that kind of letter home.